Hey everyone, it's Holly. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a homeschooling mom of four kids. And in today's video, I am talking about second grade curriculum. So let's get started right now. Here is our second grade curriculum. As you can see, there is a variety of books and materials. We do not subscribe to one particular company, but rather buy things a la carte. I will go through each of these books right now and share with you why we like them. First is reading comprehension. In our home, we encourage our kids to do a lot of reading on their own, but I still like them to do some reading to us out loud. And I like this reading comprehension because it is Monday through Friday. That way we can keep it consistent throughout our school week. We use the Evan Moore Daily Reading. I did an entire video on this reading comprehension, grades one through five. If you wanna go check out that entire overview, I will put Put the link to that video in the description box below but real quick I will show what the second grade book looks like you can see there's something for them to read here out loud and then answer all the multiple choice questions with all the answers laid out nicely in the back Next is language arts or grammar. We use the Spectrum language arts book because it is well laid out and it covers all of these things to help them improve upon their grammar and writing. Here is a few examples of what the pages look like in the second grade book and the answers are all in the back. With the amount of pages that there are in the Spectrum language arts, sometimes we finish before the year is up and we still have a couple months left so I pick up the grammar book by Scholastic and this has more things they can work on to approve upon their grammar skills. And the answers are all provided in the back both affordable books to have around for language arts and grammar. Then to work on their writing skills, I have this worksheet here that I have my second grader do maybe twice a week. This will help them construct proper sentences. You can see at the top here, there's a space for noun and verb. I fill out the top two boxes and then my student will fill out the bottom boxes to give the sentence more adverbs, adjectives, etc., and then write the full sentence on the bottom of the page. This was a PDF that was put together by my mom. Then is spelling. A lot of students will pick up spelling on their own from all the reading that they do. We have found that while all the reading does help, some of our kids have needed some extra help when it comes to spelling. It just hasn't come as easy to them. We found that just having this workbook does help with the spelling. Again, we go with the spectrum. Real quick, I'll show you what some of these pages look like. And of course, there are well laid out answers in the back. It's just an option, but it's been helpful for us. Then is cursive. Cursive is something we start teaching our kids in first grade. So in second grade, they are continuing to practice and getting better at cursive. I have a few books here that I use. Here's an example of what this one looks like inside, but there are several books that I will have my second grader do some exercises in. I did an entire video with an overview on all of these books. If you wanna go check out that video it will be in the description box below if you want to see what each of these books look like inside i did a flip through of all of them next is math and for math our main curriculum is going to be saxon math 2. we use some other things in addition to the saxon math such as this student clock here is a good tool to have. We continue quizzing our kids with flashcards, such as getting better at subtraction and starting them on multiplication. This usually begins in second grade for us. A couple days a week, it's important to have our kids memorize all of these math problems. Getting into our main curriculum, Saxon Math 2, this is the teacher's handbook here, and this will have all the lessons in it that you can go through with your student along with the kit that you buy for Saxon Math 2, they will have these worksheets here for the kids to work on each school day. This is a small example here of what they look like. They are normal paper size, but this is just to show you an idea of what they will do. This, of course, is going to be all the answers since this is the teacher's manual. You can get an idea right now and see that they will be working on temperature, time, all kinds of math concepts that they need to be learning 
learning in second grade. And one of the reasons why I really love Saxon Math is they continue to review things with the kids so that way they don't forget things. A lot of the math my kids can do on their own in the morning. Along with the Saxon Math curriculum, we also have our kids work on calendar and weather. There are other things too you could add to your math curriculum, but this is what we use, Saxon Math as the main curriculum along with all these other tools. For history, we do the story of the world. I absolutely love this history curriculum. I think I may just do a future video just on this curriculum alone. This right here is volume one, ancient times. And volume one, as far as grade level goes, it expands from first grade all the way to fifth grade. And the higher the volumes get, the higher the grade level it gets. You can start in first grade if you want, but I think second grade is a great place to get started with this curriculum. This right here is the book that has all the stories in it. This is what you will read to your children. It is a great read out loud book. If you don't want to read, they also have the audiobook version available. You can get one or the other or both. You can buy all this stuff a la carte, but I prefer to get the whole kit because I feel all the things that come in the kit are worth it. This is the activity book and the activity book is filled with so many great ideas. There is craft projects, recipes, other references you can go and read on. It's definitely a great way to immerse your kids into the stories that you are teaching them in history. In the back of the activity book has all the maps and the maps you can make photocopies of. There is also some coloring pictures and craft project templates in the back, but the maps are so nice to be able to teach teach alongside so you can show your kids where in the world these stories are being told. And there's also different map work instructions that's in the activity book. Then there is the test book and the test book is a great way to see what your child has learned. Now in second grade it might be a little too much just to give them the test. A lot of times what we do is we just read the test questions out loud. My kids take turns answering them. It is great to be able to do this curriculum with multiple kids at a time. When we do our history curriculum, which is usually two days a week, I do it with my three older ones. And we discuss the answers, we discuss the things we've talked about, Great curriculum, highly recommend it. Then learning about maps and geography. Map Skills for Today by Scholastic is a great small book to have to teach your kids more about the earth, the land, directions. I did an entire video on the Map Skills for Today books, grades one through five. If you wanna go check out that video later, it'll be in the description box below. And in it, I shared flip throughs of all of these books and did an entire review on them. Also learning about geography. This My State book is a great thing to have for kindergarten, first grade, second grade. It will work for a variety of ages, but you can see there's all kinds of activities in here where your student can learn more about their state. A lot of opportunities to draw pictures, answer questions that they might have learned or they can go and research about their state. Great addition to have for second grade. I bought my book here at a teaching store. Another great tool to have on hand in your classroom is flashcards. This time of year, they sell a lot of them, especially for a dollar at Target. These art books here are also great additions to have in your classroom to introduce your second grader to fine arts. Both of them here are wonderful for this age level. Last, one more free resource I wanted to mention is worksheetfun.com. This website has all kinds of free printables. So if you wanna find some additional things for your kids to work on, check out this website and see if anything might work for you. If you are wondering what we do for our science curriculum, my kids actually attend a homeschool enrichment program twice a week in our area where they are taught science by certified teachers. That is why I don't have any curriculum to share for science. 
Well, that is our curriculum for second grade. As you can see, it is very easy to put together your own curriculum and it can be very affordable too. Most of these books you could find for a reasonable price. The only ones you'll be spending more money on will be the Saxton Math and the Stories of the World curriculum. In the description box below, I will have links to all these books and materials that I mentioned in the video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing it. I have a lot more homeschooling videos on the way as well as updating all my curriculum that we use. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and may you have a wonderful day.